Hey, John, come be in the video with me. Come on. Come be in the video with me, Hitch. Oh, come on. What's up, guys? I'm Sawyer Hartman, and that spin was not nearly as cool as I thought it was going to be in my head. So it's been a crazy couple weeks in the world of filmmaking for me and Jonathan. We are trying to package our first series for the channel as well as coordinate a couple bigger projects that we have running parallel to our weekly uploads. So on this beautiful Wednesday, why don't we have a good old fashioned Ask Sawyer and audience. So feel free to answer along in the comments below. So the first question, what do you do when you are stressed? <laughs> I do I, I, I do a lot of stuff, mostly flail. I really like like thunderstorm sounds and kind of like just sounds of nature. And I'll like go go find like a dark corner, a dark room, and I'll just sit with my music and kind of sit in myself and like be protected by my bubble. You guys know what I mean. I mean come on, we're all <laughs> we're all antisocial here, that's why we're on the internet. <laughs> Second question is actually a really, really good one, and it's very relevant tonight because I just left seeing the Interstellar premiere, the new Christopher Nolan movie with Matthew McConaughey. Very, very good, very, very tiring, uh, which is what I think the film was supposed to be because, you know, it was one man's journey through, you know, the ends of well, not only the universe, but infinite space. So I believe it was supposed to be tiring, so that was good. Where is it that you pull your inspiration from? Now this goes for both me and you. Where is it that we get our inspiration? Me personally, I find my inspiration in everything. I'll see a photo in a hallway, I'll see graffiti on the street, I could even hear a tune in my own head. And it could just spark an idea that lets the ball start rolling and then creativity just takes its own way. Another great way to find inspiration is off other people's work. And I don't mean plagiarism, I mean finding something that you resonate with and then pulling pieces of that to like put into your own work. A good way to do this is watching movies, or reading, or listening to books. As you guys know, Audible is a huge supporter of our channel and helps me to create a lot of our short films. So if you guys do want, you can hop on over to audible.com slash Sawyer and get your free book when you sign up. I'm actually listening to a book right now called I Am Spartacus, which is by Kirk Douglas. And it's about the making of the Stanley Kubrick film, obviously Spartacus. But it's um, a really interesting tale about a writer who was blacklisted for a lot of drama going on in Hollywood and kind of this movie that really shouldn't have gotten made but did get made and it was an absolutely brilliant film. For you guys that aren't aware of Audible, Audible is a leading audiobooks website with like 150,000 titles. And you can use them on your iPad, your iPhone, all your devices, as well as your home computer. And if you don't like a book, you can actually return it. So the people at Audible kind of hook it up here and it's like a no risk environment. So if you do want to check out that book or one of the other books that they have, make sure you use audible.com slash Sawyer. And then also leave down below where you guys get your inspiration from. It can be a hole in the wall or it can be the biggest, most beautiful dam in all the land. In Europe they call them dikes, I think. The Hoover Dam and Dikes. Yeah. That should be a sports the car. Dyke. The Hoover Dam and Dikes. Hoover Dam and Dykes bottling company. Yeah. Next question is one I'm actually really interested in knowing more about you than me, but it's where do you see yourself in five years? I personally see myself stressed out in a corner, unable to move, but I see that being in like a TV producing scenario where I'm Sawyer Hartman here in the middle and I'm facilitating and making different shows and movies out for other networks. So I'm kind of like the TV channel and I just kind of sell my content everywhere. That would be best for my personal goals as a filmmaker because that gives me money and the timeline to make longer projects. I really just want to make features, guys, and I want to take like a, a year to make each one. But where do you see yourself in five years? What do you want to do? Do you know? Are you going to be out of school? Are you going to be out of college? Are you going to be off into the world of working? Or are you going to be a bum creative like me who just loves making art? <laughs> Let me know. So the next one's a really, really hard question that I deal with a lot, but I wanted to ask you because it's a good question to at least challenge yourself with. What do you feel your purpose or role on earth is? <laughs> Jonathan's back there like, damn, that's a hard question. I think my purpose or role on earth is to entertain and inspire. And that's not in a, a selfish or ego-driven way. I think the world's stressful and a lot of people have a hard time dealing with that stress. So I will make content and films to distract them from their lives while they don't have to worry about it. 
That's my way of changing the world. It's one smile at a time. How do I make a short film or a living photos video? That's actually a really difficult question because each project is very, very different in the process it takes to make. But uh, let me know if you guys would want to see me do any tutorials on basic filmmaking or editing techniques or anything that would help you to also create. Uh, let me know and that could be something interesting that we can do here on the channel. And then the last question is my personal favorite. It's when was the last time you were truly happy or honestly in the moment? And that's a hard one, and I'm gonna make Jonathan come in here and answer it after, but I think it was in Toronto when we watched Parallax and Welcome to Tokyo and some of my other films on a movie theater screen and you guys like accepted it. It was a very nervous time for me and like a very critical time of my work and it was just so surreal. It put me on the spot and inspired me. And I think that was the last time I really felt a lot. Jonathan's turn. Go sit and tell me, say what well, last time you the last time I was truly happy, hmm, let me think about this for a second. <laughs> this is John I've never one. been happy. No, I'm kidding. Uh, do you want the, the super nerdy answer? Yeah, the real okay. one. The, the last time I was truly happy was when I bought a PlayStation 1 and I got to play Final Fantasy 7 for like 10 hours straight. Uh, that, was, that was good times. I... Get out of the chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, wait, okay, no. The last time I was happy was when I got to be talk to you guys with the question. Oh, nice! So guys, please leave down below in comments the last time that you were truly happy or in the moment. Then also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this format where I'm trying to incorporate y'all. So if you guys want to know more about me or follow me on my journey through life, make sure to follow me on Frankly, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and all of my social media. So links are down below. Pick and choose what you'd like. They all have their purpose. And I love you guys very, very much. And I'll see you lovely people next time. Have a great week. Love y'all. Bye.